Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our High Calling September 23rd We need to be guided by the Spirit of Truth. While the souls of men are dying and the Master calls for you, let none hear you idly saying, There is nothing I can do. Gladly take the task he gives you. Let his work your pleasure be. Answer quickly when he calleth. Here am I, O Lord, send me. Guided by the Spirit of Truth. And when they bring you unto the synagogues, and unto magistrates and powers, take ye no thought how or what thing ye shall answer, or what ye shall say, for the Holy Ghost shall teach you in the same hour what ye ought to say. Luke chapter 12, verses 11 and 12. Jesus promised his disciples, The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the teachings of Christ must previously have been stored in the mind in order for the Spirit of God to bring them to our remembrance in the time of peril. The word I have hid in mine heart, said David, that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119 verse 11. All who value their eternal interests should be on guard against the inroads of skepticism. The very pillars of truth will be assailed. It is impossible to keep beyond the reach of the sarcasms and sophisms, the insidious and pestilent teachings of modern infidelity. Satan adapts his temptations to all classes. He assails the illiterate with a jest or sneer, while he meets the educated with scientific objections and philosophical reasoning, alike calculated to excite distrust or contempt of the scriptures. Even youth of little experience presume to insinuate doubts concerning the fundamental principles of Christianity. And this youthful infidelity, shallow as it is, has its influence. Many are thus led to jest at the faith of their fathers and to do despite to the spirit of grace. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 29. Many a life that promised to be an honor to God and a blessing to the world has been blighted by the foul breath of infidelity. All who trust to the boastful decisions of human reason and imagine that they can explain divine mysteries and arrive at truth unaided by the wisdom of God are entangled in the snare of Satan. We are living in the most solemn period of this world's history. The destiny of earth's teeming multitudes is about to be decided. Our own future well-being and also the salvation of other souls depend upon the course which we now pursue. We need to be guided by the spirit of truth. Every follower of Christ should earnestly inquire, Lord, what wilt thou have me to do? We need to humble ourselves before the Lord with fasting and prayer and to meditate much upon his word, especially upon the scenes of the judgment. We should now seek a deep and living experience in the things of God. We have not a moment to lose. Events of vital importance are taking place around us. We are on Satan's enchanted ground. Sleep not, sentinels of God. The foe is lurking near ready at any moment, should you become lax and drowsy, to spring upon you and make you his prey. This passage was taken from The Great Controversy, pages 600 and 601. Our Daily Bread, September 23rd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.